Yesterday, we had all of these discharge fails. Hoping that I can get the uh, discharge pressure to go down. So you can see every day it peaks during the heat of the day. Watching it, we can see all the, all the crap come out of it, you know. And you can see on the receiver here all this crap that's falling on, onto it. like before washing it you can see it's got this really fine little little tan looking dust on it and you can see they're also falling apart so can't use a chemical because chemicals already messed them up then after you rinse them that looks a little bit better that dusty looking peach covered stuff is gone this is the last one I gotta do I've already done the others Well, I did all four of them. Let it dry and go see, uh, go see what the graph says. See all that dirt that come out of my coil. Memorial City, Macy's. Okay, here's my, all right, here's my graph. Here's my main screen. Got the two racks, we'll go to condenser. So the one I'm looking at here is the one, is number A. See, it's 299. So, yesterday we had all of these discharge fails. And it looks like they started yesterday on the 30th. And on the 27th we had it once. Let's see. On the 27th, we had it 4.15 p.m. And then on the 22nd, we had it 6.50 p.m. Looks like it happens in the very late afternoons. You can see, that's what most of them are on the screen. Looks like this happened really bad also on uh, 
the, yeah, the 22nd. Let me see. Hold on. Let me go back. Yeah, a lot of discharge fails also on the 22nd. Same thing. So the 22nd must have been a pretty hot day. Also on the 19th, 18th. So this was happening a lot last week. I just got the call yesterday. Now, here's what it looks like. Here's the graph. So you can see every day it peaks during the heat of the day. A little closer. So we've got, this is every day. The zeros indicate midnight. Zoom in some more. All right, here we go, better spread. So this was today. This has been everything I've been doing today. Let's look at that a little bit. So this is when I spray water on it, right here. 11.30, maybe when I started. I wash it, it goes down to like 270, and then it builds back up, back and forth, so. We can see, see heat's going up. It's right now it's drying, so we're waiting. We're waiting. This pressure's gonna keep going up, and up a little bit. They need new condensers, is what they need. But all I can really do is wash it best I can. So let's look again at the at the graph. Graph. So 350 is the alarm point. It hits 350 and it stops and goes down. So you can see this is the heat of the day gets hot, stays up there. This was 27th. You can see right here on the 27th, it, 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 uh, it tripped alarm, it dropped. I think on the 28th it didn't. 29th, I don't think it did either. But you can see on the 30th, yesterday, it did seem to do that. So we're at 321. I'm gonna see how high it gets. So right now it's 137. I'm gonna let this run. I'm gonna go get something to eat. Well, after all that, it turns out that this condenser just is no good. It is no good, so I got a sprinkler on it until it gets replaced, because it's time to get replaced. So this is how it stayed for about two and a half months. I just went last week and took it off because we submitted them a quote to replace the condenser and it is going to be getting replaced. We're only replacing the top part of it, we're not replacing the receiver. We're going to adapt that piping to the new condenser. We've got a crane meeting us there late in the evening and we're going to work all night. Use dry ice to keep the product cold and it's going to be fun. So I will try to get some video for you guys on that. I'm not sure if I'll be able to or how much I'll be able to get. It's going to be dark, but we'll see. So, see you later.